And then, of course, you know, we build to the main event, and the Usos are there. They're beating down. They had, a, they had an interview with Sammy and, and Jay, and Jay was awesome in this this deal. I mean, they're keeping everything consistent. Jay essentially is saying, you know, I didn't want to do this to you. I loved you, but, like, you put me in this situation. You betrayed me. And at the end of the day, from day one, I've said this. You're you're not blood, and I had to do what I had to do for my family. This never had to happen, but when it happened, I had to make this call. And they're planting a seed, by the way, of Sammy telling Jay, you do realize that you're not mad at me. You're mad at Roman. You wish that you would have hit Roman Reigns with that chair, but you didn't. I did. You're, you have misplaced anger. So eventually they get a brawl. Jimmy comes out. Jimmy's beating on him. They hit Kevin Owens' music, and this dude comes down to the ring, and he lays out both of these Usos. And this was so great because Kevin's on one side of the ring. Sammy's on the other side of the ring. The ring has been cleared. They're looking at each other, and there's not like a slow whatever. Kevin looks at him. And he just starts striding towards him. And Sammy don't know what's going on. And if you watch Sammy, he's like, he's he starts taking steps back like, this dude's going to kill me. Kevin grabs this dude and he hugs him. And this place went haywire. And like the opening segment, they've been chanting, hug it out. This segment, they've been chanting, hug it out. And they hugged it out. And man, it was so great. It's one of those things I talk about all the time. It's not what I thought they were going to do. But what they did was actually way better than what I thought they were going to do. Because you know what this is at the end of the day, Mike? You know what this is? What's that? It is a bromance. There's literally no other way to describe it. It's two bros. And all one of these bros needed to hear was, I love you. That's all he needed. And boom, he came back for his friend. It was so great. Anyway, I loved it. Loved this storyline. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp was the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low key at first, like, bah, 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 bah. but he keeps going. He claps. I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.